Hey guys, Tommy Simbazo here with Game Trade Media, and I'm with Ross from the OP. What's up, man? The How up. you doing? I, I screwed up. <laughs> yes, it's that the was up. good. I knew you were gonna do it. Uh, that's so, on purpose. How's your How's your packs been? Going? Our show's going so well. We're here hanging out. We've got a little bit of a smaller booth this year, but we're short of a lot of our cool games. We kind of brought a nice victory lap of everything we've had this year. Mm -hmm. So we have like our uh, Kingdom Hearts Talisman, oh. our D and D Clue, ah. uh, our Die Hard game. Do you have a die-hard game? We have game? a die-hard game. It Why is, is it that here? <laughs> well, we already, we already covered it at, at Origins okay, on GTM. Okay. But it definitely... Does it, does it have a Nag uh, Nagasaki Tower? Nagatomi? So, so Plaza? essentially, with the, the board uh, starts out folded like this, yeah. and then it folds that way, and uh -huh. then it folds yeah. out. So it, as you're going up the tower, right? And it definitely is the best... Best Christmas, Christmas game. game. Yeah, 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 100%, right? <laughs> so I always um, say my favorite Christmas movie is Iron Man 3. Oh, my goodness. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Okay, yeah. I'm in. It's you, a Shane Black you, movie. Oh, everything no, happens no, Christmas. everything is good. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, that's <laughs> happening now. I'm, I, I'm on that campaign. All right, so what do you got cool. for us? So we brought some cool games here. So uh, this year we released our uh, Toy Story Obstacles and Adventures, a cooperative deck building game. Okay. And so we have people who know us for our Hogwarts Battle uh, cooperative game where mm -hmm. you're playing through each Hogwarts movie. So in this one, we kind of took a lot of that same vibe, mm -hmm. and you're playing through each Toy Story movie. Now, there's no tears in this, is there? Oh, so many. Oh, I cry so oh, much in these movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in this game, what's going on is you are playing through the stuff that you play as uh, Woody and Buzz, Bo Peep, uh, Rex, and mm -hmm. then eventually Jesse joins the team, too. Yeah, I'm tearing up already. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has a nice, like, like Woody's uh, play box going on, right, with, with Andy and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And so it's got each of the character boards here. So you've got Bo Peep. And each has their own little theme with it too, right? Okay. So she rocks like the the cool porcelain sheep. Rex is doing his whole. Yeah, with that's the, 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 the comments <laughs> coming, right? That's the most uh, manly I've ever seen. Yeah, Rex right. That's hundred percent, right? You got Buzz rocking his Space Ranger nice. outfit there, which is super cool. And then Woody uh, with his classic yeehaw. Mm -hmm. And then in game one, that's where you play as these characters. But if, if, if you want to do a five, you start with game two, and then you bring in Jesse. Nice. And, and she comes in just like in the game two. So in this game, they aren't fighting each other. They aren't battling. What they're doing is they're overcoming obstacles. Okay. And so you've got different things. And so each, we'll pull that out there. It's all right. I, you have very thick fingers. I do. And so you've got these little mini boards here, right? And so you're playing through the adventure board. And each game has its own thing. As we pull it out, it's got all the cool pieces. So each box is packed full. Yeah. It's got its little... Uh, piece for those. Is it, what is this made of? So what will happen is that will go on is the... Is that lead? Uh, no, 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 no. Pewter? They're all they're nice pewter, right? Nice. So it will all go up top here on the game board. Everything will play. It will play on the start. So as you are playing through, this, this will tell you how many obstacles you need to draw. So it will go from one, and there's going to be bad things that come up, which will be placed here. Okay. And they may be, hey, this one says, okay, all toys lose one health. Okay. But one could be, hey, move the meter down. Okay. So this is kind of your, you want to defeat the game each round before it gets to here, now this right? Now, is, this is, takes place during the move, then. So this is yeah. the old house, there's the new right. house. Right, so that's, that's okay. the first one there. The second one is the airport. Okay. Right, and, and so on, and so and we don't do any spoilers for the other ones. Yeah. But we've got uh, all four films and then uh, two of the holiday specials. So we have the holiday special and the Halloween special Woo! are also in these two, which is pretty cool. Mm. So along with that, you've also got each of the character decks. So we've got decks for Woody and for Bo Peep and for... Nice. It's my favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah. That so creepy what, spider baby. And what's nice is all the cards are going to go, and we're kind of... There's a lot of pieces here, right? So yeah. you get this up there, and these will go right up here. You're going to have your cards out, and we'll, we'll fill the library up. Boom. And so every turn, you're going to spend different... Uh, imagination uh, tokens here, all based on the cool Pixar pieces. So we've got the lamps. Uh oh! And the balls as well. Those just look super, super cool. Look at those guys, right? Look at that. Yeah, Ladies. fantastic. Hey, let, me, let me get, yeah, let me yeah, bust get a few them of them out. out there, right? Boom. So you're acquiring these guys, and they're going to help you uh, get new uh, friends and allies to help. And so essentially in this game, you are deck building, so you're acquiring new cards into your deck. You've got items. You've got friends, and you've got traits. Okay. So your friends are going to be other characters, like Sheep, and you've got Sarge, and you've got uh, Blinky. Dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, all yeah. those guys, right? And along with that, you've got cool items that are more of the, like you have the little Russian egg dolls and mm -hmm. things like that. And then also you've got these trait cards here, right? So they're going to have different uh, 
So Enthusiastic's one of them. We can shuffle it more and get like Persuasive. Uh, there's a lot of other cool cards here. Like here, here's the there's RC. Buggy. Yeah, RC. Right, it's spontaneous. And so what's pretty fun though is it's all new art with all the aliens. Yeah. And so it's all, all the little emotions, the claw, right? So we got cautious and cooperative. All very fun because in this game, you're not battling, you're overcoming uh, one of the problems they have to face in one of the games and uh, uh, overcoming jealousy. Okay. Right? And, and becoming friends and yeah, trusting because of the dichotomy between Woody and Buzz. 100%, right? And so as you're doing that as well, you're going to fight different guys like, like, there we go, there's our struggle with jealousy card, right? So you're going to have that there. You've got a struggle with jealousy. Or mm -hmm. you've got trapped in a crate. Okay. Right? Remember when Woody was trapped in yeah, the crate? Yeah. Right? And, and then, that's when Buzz was like drunk. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Like, oh, oh, I'm Mrs. Mrs. Nesbitt. Yeah. yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? <laughs> And so then, and then like, those will all be here. You'll go through each one, and then as you defeat it, and then at the very end, it'll be, hey, you need to like, escape from Sid. Yeah. Right? How messed up do you think Sid was as an adult? Oh, like I, therapy, right? The kid had to go to therapy. I would love that short film. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, come on, Pixar. Like, make, make it happen. I wish they could do that. But yeah. uh, so in, in, each, in each adventure you're playing through, which we have six of them, you're going to do different stuff in each of the movies. You're going to play through them all. Mm. And uh, it gets harder and harder as you go along. So game one and game two are as an intro into deck building. So it kind of shows you how the engine works, how you play your cards down and get more cards as you're doing that. And then as you play through, hard, it gets harder, more challenging, more challenging, more challenging. Very puzzle-based, a lot of fun stuff. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And I imagine, like, now the second one, what do you think? Uh, what's it, Avarice? Yeah, is it, it greed? That what's uh, I <laughs> yeah, but with, with uh, Sneaky Pete, right? Yeah, yeah, Sneaky yeah, Pete. Yeah. So oh man, this is great. And uh, so, what's the age range on something like so, this? So uh, these are very like, eight and up. Eight and up, okay. Yeah, yeah. So like, be, how old are you, dog? You, you dear? Nine. She's nine. She can play this. She can play it. You like Toy Story? Oh well, she's not gonna play. She it, said yes. <laughs> she's not on mic. No one needs to know. <laughs> she said yes. It's true. She it's loves true. it. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so we have these games here, and uh, it's really fun to be able to play with Toy Story. There haven't been many, like, hobby games for that. Mm -hmm. And so playing through, I, I haven't uh, watched the fourth film yet. Oh. So I haven't actually played The Last Adventure yet because it's, okay, it's full yeah, of spoilers. Okay, yeah, you got to wait. Yeah. got to wait. I, I got to save my tears. I, it was on the plane back from Essen, and I was debating watching it on the flight, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to cry next to Grandma. Yeah, everybody wants to cry on a plane. <laughs> yeah, right. So I'm like, <laughs> like I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, so it, it's out in stores now. Uh, so you, you can get it. We well, have, how, how much is this going to run? Uh, Fifty dollars. That's not bad for a deck builder. No, it's packed full of stuff. Like you can tell, we're all all yeah. those components here. Are now, all is there. It, does it come with all the adventures? Everything is all in the box. That usually base set for a deck builder is going to run you fifty dollars. Yeah, so we, everything's here in the, in the in the game. You're good to go. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. And is this already in stores? Everything's already in stores. Are already in stores. You're already good to go. Woo! This is great. Yeah. So we'll pack up here as a team. And look, this is. That's real pewter. It is real pewter. It's taste true. It. Taste test approved. I love it. That's going to be a new seal <laughs> approval. <laughs> Goodbye, brain cells. Yeah. So we'll pack up a little bit here, and then we'll bust out our next game. So yeah, right. it's it's very fun to play a game with, with uh, Toy Story. We've uh, loved it. We kind of get to play around in their world. What's your favorite game that you've been playing that uh, that that? Oh man, so you know, the, the the op has. Uh, we've been doing a few. I've really been playing a lot of our Die Hard game lately. Yeah. And then why our, wouldn't you? Tis the right? season. Right. Yeah, yeah. Tis the season. And then we've got our um, Kingdom Hearts Talisman. I've been playing a lot of that oh, recently so, too. Oh. And then is we, that another deck builder? Uh, so it, Talisman is a roll and move adventure game Ooh. where you are playing through a big old board. We'll just, we'll just throw it in there. Yeah, yeah okay. And uh, so you're playing as the characters in the first Kingdom Hearts game. And you've got to eventually get a keyblade and close the door to darkness. Okay. So you've got to raise up your strength and your magic stat as you're going around. That just came out in stores as of last week, which is super cool. I got it over at the booth. Uh, it's already online. People can check it out. It's very, I very saw neat. a meme that someone said they would like to uh, bring Walt Disney back to life and try to explain the plot of Kingdom Hearts to him. I think he would appreciate <laughs> everything about that. You've done what? <laughs> what we, is a skeleton? We can't, we can't make a right about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good. So our next game then, we've got that here, is uh, Geek Out Disney. Don't okay, let the Bart Fox. Nice. Yeah, the Bart yeah, Fox. Let the Fox Bart. God. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I love this. This is great. I can't say box fart. Oh, there it is. Hey, look there at that. Hey, cool. Next game in the Disney family, we've got Geek Out Disney. Okay, now Geek Out, the, while we're opening, a Geek Out yeah. is, uh, is uh, trivia-based, right? Yeah, it's a trivia-based game designed by Elita Teague. 
and so she's done a Geek Out stuff with Ultra Pro. They mm -hmm. have a lot of cool versions of that. Well, we had Ultra Pro on the other yesterday. Yeah, 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 so we are very happy to work with them for a Disney version of this. And so, like Geek Out, what you're doing is you are doing this cool trivia-based game where you're going to be picking your little character piece, putting it on the board, mm -hmm. and the first person to get five right. Okay. So at the beginning, so when you get them wrong, you go, you move back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So at, at the beginning of each turn, you're going to roll the die. It's going to tell you a thing. So on that, you've got red is going to be uh, Disney Animation. Blue is going to be Pixar. Yellow is going to be let movies. Let me ask you one. Let me see. You it. rolled yellow. Okay. One title in which one title in which a family has three or more children. So what will happen then? Yeah. So so it'll be I could so it'll ask one title. I can go. I can name one. Okay. And you could go. I could name two. I can name but, two. But you don't say it yet. Yeah, I yeah. could go, I could name three. And then could you name four? So then you're wagering. You're wagering. Yes. I, with a little bit of help, I could, could I phone a friend? <laughs> you know, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that, so was it, uh, was, it was yellow, so it's movies. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, I could do four. Okay, let me hear your four. Okay. Uh, so it's just movies in general? Yeah, just movies. So let's go with uh, Swiss Family Robinson. Yeah, that, oh, that was one of mine. Uh, we could go with um, uh, Peter Pan. Peter Pan, yeah, yeah. Uh, we could do that. I could say we could do uh, Toy Story. Oh, three or more children. Three or more children. Yeah. Uh, you're going to go 101 Dalmatians because they always, that's their kids, man. Furry babies. Sure. Right? I'll, I'll, hey. give, I'll give it to you. I'll we'll give, it has we'll an asterisk it. next to this, we'll, though. We'll allow it. And then uh, for four... Uh, oh, I was. Uh, phone, a phone a friend, a friend, phone a friend, phone a friend. out there. We yep. got Incredibles. Incredibles. Uh. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, there's no answer on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, there's not, and and and, that, and that's the point. Yeah. So well, how do you tell if you're right? Because we we just did. We yeah. just we just talked through it, right? Yes, so we did. We. Oh, it's, a, yeah. it's a very party. Oh, you're making you talk to game. your family. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. But it's but everyone's got a different Disney experience. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so it's one of those things where you're like, I could have gone Johnny Tsunami. Because yep. he's got two sisters and a brother and the whole thing like that from a, from a Disney home. Well, now, and now that Disney has uh, owns everything. Star Wars, you Marvel, do Marvel oh, Star yeah. Wars, oh, any Fox property. Oh, yeah, yeah, Professor yeah. X has four children. All right. They're all his kids. It's true, right? Yeah. yeah, so here we got here we got green, right? Children of the Atom. Oh, that's, that's, that's going to be a hard one. But, uh, we got, yeah, so we got, like, uh, two named male title characters in Disney animation. Two named Two Ma titles. Oh, two titles. So the title of the thing has the name in it? Two named male title characters. So two main characters in the title for Disney Animation. Can, can you name two? I'm just going to say yes. Cool. I can do three. Okay. Do, do three then. Uh, <laughs> ready? We're going to go yep. with uh, okay. Aladdin. Okay. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. And then I was hoping to figure out a third one before I got there. Uh, uh. Oh, Thor. Yeah, okay, I'll give yeah. it to you. Right. Animation, animation. Oh, shoot, animation. Yeah. Oh, good call. Yeah. Um, Trying to cheat me? Uh, Mickey's Anything, I don't know. Oh, right? uh, darn it. <laughs> Mickey's Anything, coming out this spring. <laughs> <laughs> Lilo, Lilo and Stitch. Stitch. There, there you we go. go. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he really? I don't know. Anyway, but, uh, yeah, so there's all kinds of over... 500 questions, 300 questions here involving all kinds of stuff from all areas of oh, Disney. This is great. Yeah. Darkwing Duck? Oh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Have you watched Gargoyles? You got Disney Plus? Oh, yeah. You watch Gargoyles? Oh, yet? yeah. It's oh. like the first thing you watch, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That, and then they had Mighty Ducks on there. Like the old one. Yeah, the, like the, the animated the, Mighty Ducks series? The, the Superheroes yeah. guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm making my way through, uh, what am I watching now? I just watched the uh, last year Marvel had a Spider Man series. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I so, so I'm, I'm watching through uh, uh, Avengers Assemble right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And which was the in theme it, song for Avengers Assemble. It's, every it, time I was like, is this a movie, music video? It's, or something? Oh, it it's so, so good. good. It's no matter where we are. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's oh. okay. So, yeah, so this, this game is out now. Uh, oh, here's a good one. So, we've been playing a lot on, on the Op Live, mm -hmm. it's our live stream in Everyone the office. Everyone knows that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so our social media lady is Disney awesome. She knows everything about it. So we, one, of, one of the questions was, name two movies that have a boat in it. So can you, can you name movies. two? Movies. Yeah, yeah, movies. Disney movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, so she, we were back and forth, back okay. and forth, and she's like, I can do 11. 11 movies? And, and, and it was crazy. Did she nail it? Oh, she nailed it. Ooh. She nailed it. And the funny thing is, once we finished, like, then, then your brain's going. You're yeah, like, thinking yeah. about stuff, and we named like another 10 more. This, oh, this is great. Yeah, yeah. This especially now, you know what you do? You give someone a subscription to Disney Plus, Plus. and then you get them this. Yeah. And you're like, I challenge you. Right. And within two months, we're, we will then have a face-off between our two families. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we, 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 th there was another one in here, speaking of like Disney Plus, right, where it was, name, uh, name two movies 
where a dog is the main character, right? Okay, yeah. For Disney, and we were, we were, we were thinking about it, thinking about it, and then someone's like, Air Bud. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Disney, <laughs> right? And I have buddies <laughs> that did a podcast where they watched every Air Bud movie and Buddies movie. Oh, there are so in many. In order. And they're all and in Disney+. Yeah, Plus it, took too. Them, it, it took them a, like a year no, to watch all these There's movies. like 20 of them. Yeah, I was on the Super Buddies episode, <laughs> oh, and so I had to watch Super Buddies. That's, that's great. <sighs> it was not great. I'm sure it was awesome. <laughs> it was not great. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so this is out now in stores. It's at $20. $20? 20 bucks. This is... Yeah. <laughs> This is a good deal for twenty bucks. You're gonna get yeah. a lot of game out, a lot of play out of that. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, Russ, it's been such a pleasure meeting really you. Really has, man. And I'm sure this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I, I look forward to it. <laughs> many, many good times ahead. So, guys, rush out, get these two games for any Disney lover that in your life, which it, that is basically any property now. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you at your friendly local game store.
Tommy Simbazo with Game Trade Media, and I'm here at PAX with George from Peterson Games. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, man? How's your PAX going? Oh, it's going great. Uh, let me tell you, it's been great to come here every year and just see how this convention's been growing. I mean, it is, uh, between the convention and the support that we're seeing here, it's, it's been a great time. Last day of PAX, oh. how you holding up? It, we're tired. Yeah, we're we're pushing through. <laughs> I'm sure everyone is. Yeah, and uh, you know it's just great to see all the fans come out and have such enthusiasm for all these Speaking games. Speaking of fans, I'm already a fan of this. Oh. What is this? This is Planet Apocalypse. Oh. This is going to be shipping to our backers in January, and it's going to be going to retail pretty quickly after that. Okay. So the premise of the game is it is a wave defense game. So what will happen is this is the end of the world. The demons have emerged from the uh, seven layers of the underworld. Oh, so Disney finally acquired Sony. <laughs> nice. Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, what is happening is the last uh, vestiges of humanity are going to be putting up the fight against the hordes of demons and their demon lord that are advancing on the last bastion over here. And what will happen is as the game starts, you'll start with no talents. You're pretty weak. You have a little bit of your own. Every hero has their own set of powers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, Naomi right here. She's actually the sniper. She's one of the only few units that can uh, shoot up in, into adjacent spaces and okay. attack enemies. So she's good at a distance, but not too good in a fight. She's a squishy. Yes, she yeah. is a squishy. Uh, so what will happen is the Lord will actually start at the back of the board and slowly move his way up the board. Uh. And as the heroes, they need to level up. They need to get ready for this Lord's yeah. arrival. So what will happen is they will start to move forward. But as they move forward, they actually re re uh, remove the fog of war that sits on the battlefield. And every time they do that, different demons will spawn. Uh, and the demons that spawn are actually based on our glyph dice. So whenever you roll these dice, uh, depending on the number of pairs you get, that's what's going to spawn off of that sheet over there. You guys do this scene. Now at first, this may not seem so bad, but as the game progresses, more and more glyph dice are added to the pool, so you're eventually going, uh, the game gets progressively harder, so the more time you take leveling up, and the closer this Lord gets, the more demons you're gonna start dealing with. Oh man, so how, how do you score hits and everything? How, so the, the way you score system? hits is, uh, every hero will have a, they'll start off with a uh, number of dice for their attack, so mm -hmm. as you can see here, Terang, which is one of our uh, tankier heroes, she actually rolls 1d6. And in order to uh, break through a demon's defense, the demons have a certain level of defense. You have to roll above that number. So as you above can see a three? here, so a Grillus is only you're only going to need a four, five, or six to score that kill. Okay. Whereas the larvas, you're going to need uh, over a one or over a two, depending on which wave of uh, demons you're dealing with. Mm. So that's the that's the uh, quick quick uh, explanation of the combat system. Uh, something else to really point out here that is actually I like about the game is the talent trees that you actually go through. So as you go through the game, you're going as you kill demons, you acquire these uh, this currency called courage. And uh, as the game progresses, the game also gives you static courage. So every couple turns, you're going to get four courage, and it goes into the pool for everybody to use. Now, the way that works, though, is we have a gift board. and not only do you acquire certain skills and unlock skills, but you get those gifts as well. And this is going to prepare you for that final fight with that demon lord. Yeah. Now, what so. kind of gifts do you get? Do you get any bonus dice or something oh, for your attacks and stuff? Definitely. So, uh, just one off the bat here is going to be Silver Bullet. And you can spend up to three health to add 1d8 per health spent on your mm. next attack. So, you're sacrificing health to do more damage output. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you find yourself in a really bad situation, it looks like you're about to go down. Uh, if they, if those demons get a chance to attack you, that'll be your chance to actually turn the tables. Man, this is great. Now, now look at these models. Can we get... Can you look at these models? This is insane. Now, we were talking earlier. You said that the demons don't have butts. They don't. So uh, something that Sandy was really adamant about is these demons are takers. They only take in. They're selfish. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't, never give anything out. Like, let's so this, let's instead of having butts, all the demons actually have faces where their butts would be. Yeah. So this would be where the butt is. Nope. Gaping mouth. <laughs> ah, give me chilies, baby back ribs. <laughs> So, and uh, as you can see here, uh, this, this is going to be uh, one of our third level demons that can be spawned out of the base game. Mm -hmm. 
And then I uh, call him a butt eater. <laughs> and this is uh, Lord Jabudu. He is actually in one of the expansions. <laughs> And uh, just to give a shout out to Chase Norton, who uh. did these paintings for us. He is an awesome fan and a great painter. This is amazing. Oh, God, this looks great. So. Oh, man. So how much how much is one of these sets going to run you? So the core game is actually going to be, uh, I believe it's 120 for the core game. Okay. And it's going to come with the fully assembled miniatures, ready to go. Uh, they don't come painted, but you, they will come. They're pretty pretty hefty that, plastic th Yeah, there. I mean, you could... If, Ah, no, I won, and you just beat someone with it. These are great. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait to actually get this out to the table. I'm anxiously awaiting the yeah, the this, arrival. This looks amazing. It looks like a lot of fun. How long does a game usually run? So it took uh, initial playthroughs. I'm going to say about an hour and a half to hour 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, as you learn the rules, it's going to you can drop that down to like an hour 20, mm -hmm. maybe still an hour 30. But that's if things are going really bad. I said. And when's this available? Uh, this is going to be shipping out to our backers in January and it's going to go right to retail as soon as we get uh, confirmation that our backers have got it. I can imagine sitting down in a basement with my buddies. You got a couple of beers or whatever your beverage is. You're just cranking a Monomarth playlist from Spotify and stuff. <laughs> you're just getting into it. Like, this is what Pat Robertson should be worried about and not Dungeons & Dragons. This, no, no, no. This looks amazing. I can't wait. Ah, I worship every one of these now. You are now my <laughs> lord and master, Lord Baphomet. Like, yes. this is amazing. Thank you so much. Now, we, what, what else were the backers going to get? So the backers are actually, they're going to get the core game. So there's actually a lot more to the core game than what you see here. I just, uh, we're a lim little limited by space. Uh, but they're going to get their core game. They're also going to get four different expansions that add another uh, six maps, mm. more heroes, more demon lords, uh, also more third level demons. And then they're also going to be getting plastic markers packs. So instead of a plastic cutout for the Fog of War, you're actually going to have this weird fog with hands and arms jutting out of it <laughs> that you can't see, and it's a, a oh, big plastic so miniature. Oh, that's great. And now, how many people can play? How many people uh, am I inviting you over? You can actually, this is, one of, this is our only co-op game that we have uh, that's going to have all these miniatures. Uh, you can play by yourself, so it goes uh, one to four players mm -hmm. out of the box. And you can also add in a little bit more once you get some more heroes. When you here. get the expansion, how, like, you can add like a couple? Uh, I would, What's the I, max? If I add all I the expansions? It uh, should be six players if six I'm not players? mistaken. Oh, that's great. Oh, man. This, George, this is, whew, I'm, <laughs> without words, this is great. Yeah, thank uh, you so, so much. by March, everybody, go get this. You know what? Oh yeah. Tell everybody that you don't want gifts this season. You just want a bat. You just want either to back the kick. Can people still back the Kickstarter? Uh, the, the Kickstarter's been closed for a little bit. It's uh, been closed. You missed out. You yeah. idiots. But it will, like I said, it will be going to retail, and you'll actually be able to get the core game and those four expansions at retail. Oh. There are some uh, some exclusive things that will be sold direct from our website, but mo most of the game. Majority. What's your website? Where can people find uh, if it? You, if you want to find us, so we're at petersongames.com. That's with an E-N. E-N. P-E-T-R-S-E-N. Yes. Games. Correct. Oh. And uh, once once we get those out, you can get any of the PG exclusives there that were on the Kickstarter as well as the other stuff. But we also encourage you to head to your uh, friendly local game store mm -hmm. or and uh, you know place an order. Sh Johnny, can you get these minis one more time that were painted just to give? Because what was who painted these? Uh, this is Chase Norton. Chase Norton painted these. Was a fan. He's just a fan, right? Yeah, he is one of our he is one of our uh, awesome fans out there, and he is just super talented with his painting jobs. Yeah, look. So this is potentially what you could do with the minis on the. Can you imagine a whole box full of this level of stuff going through everything? I um, this is great, George. Thanks for stopping hey, by. Thank you for Enjoy having me. Enjoy the rest of your packs, you and too. we'll see you guys at your friendly local game store. See you later.